Hi everyone, Jonathan Sullivan here with a quick thought about the new evangelization. Last Saturday I had the privilege of moderating the Catholic Ed Chat, uh, a weekly gathering on Twitter of Catholic educators. Our topic was the new evangelization, and one of the first questions I asked was how people understand that phrase. What do they think the new evangelization means? Now, a number of people immediately said that new evangelization meant using new media to spread the gospel. And while that's certainly an important part of the new evangelization, if we just focus on new technology as new evangelization, we're actually missing some important pieces. In fact, I would say if we just focus on technological means of spreading the gospel in terms of the new evangelization, we're missing two of the three important pillars of new evangelization. Now, what do we mean by that? Well, when Blessed John Paul II talked about the new evangelization, he said it needed to be new in ardor, new in expression, and new in methods. You needed all three of those things to be truly doing the work of the new evangelization, and if you missed one or two of those, you were going to fall short. For instance, if you have ardor and you have expression, but you don't new, use new methods, if you don't use the methods of communication that people are used to, your message is going to be unheard because they're not going to see what you have to say or, or hear what you have to say because you're not using the methods that they're using. Think of it this way. When sound film become, became available uh, to a mass market, people weren't going to listen to silent film anymore. So if we just kept using silent film, who didn't adapt to a new method of uh, sharing a message, then it was going to be unheard. On the other hand, if you have ardor and you have methods, but you don't use new expressions or modern expressions of ways of speaking, your message is going to be incoherent because you'll be using language or visuals or, or another medium that just doesn't make sense to people. This means we have to use the language that people use. Now, that doesn't mean we abandon the rich theological language of the church from throughout the centuries, but it does mean that when we explain that language, we need to do so in a way that meets people where they're at and uses expressions and forms forms of language that people are used to. Finally, if we have new methods and new expression, but we don't have a renewed ardor, our message will be unconvincing. This is one of Father Barron's great points, that ultimately people are convinced by an argument when uh, it's being proposed by someone who's obviously on fire for it and passionate for it. So if we don't have that passion, if we don't have that vigor for the faith, our methods are going to be unconvincing, our expressions aren't going to be convincing to people. So keep in mind that when we think of new evangelization, we need to keep all three of these pillars uh, in a cohesive togetherness. Uh, if we just focus on one thing, if we just focus on technology or just focus on language, uh, then we're not going to be doing the totality that we're called to by the church for the new evangelization. We need to have ardor. We need to have expression. We need to have methods.